Yay! I really think it would be best if we were to know less about each other. For the longest of times, Mishali Ndamase was one of my favorite people to ever walk this earth. According to me, Ubenga Suzi Nok Suza. Let alone Uglala Namadota Shatile. A shame and a scandal, darling. A shame and a scandal. I am clutching my morality pearls. Her angelic YouTube aura and graceful nature made her come across as a sweetheart, which explains why many people are astonished by the moves she makes in real life. She always came across as a confident queen who knew exactly what she deserved and wouldn't settle for anything less than that. So hearing her call a married man the love of her life, witnessing her sucking his face, shoving her tongue down his throat and imitating his wife in front of the whole world has many jaws sweeping the floor. Guys, I'm having my birthday dinner with the love of my life, my best friend, my everything. While the side chick brigade cheers her on, things are falling apart in Misali and her married boyfriend's fat and set home. Allegedly! As her married boyfriend, Leroy Sidambe, has been ordered to return the luxury car he bejad his mistress with back to his wife. He also has to pay his wife 156,000 rands monthly. And many wonder where all that moolah will come from, considering how Izinyoga, Zomtwaloga, Leroy have been gobbling up all his moolah. Allegedly! <laughs> After her former friend, Zola Joka, exposed that Uya Bakwa Mcholweni Wakewe Sono, it seems that Mary Jane Light has been working tirelessly to prove that all is well between her and her married serial cheating bae, who cheated throughout his relationship with his wife, the original Mary Jane Paler, and is now scouting for more Mary Jane Light duplicates so he can further cheat on the original Mary Jane Light. Allegedly! Ha 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 ha! Guningi, 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 i wishi, wishi, guya piti zela, guya putu zela, intonga yas! And all I can say is may the best Febelina win. Speaking of Febelinas, Faith Nkets in Jilo is back to her pimping ways. Allegedly! She allegedly has moved out of her marital home and is raising her daughter in a Santon hotel, which of course doesn't come cheap. Her cute little baby-looking husband is said to be just that, cute and baby-looking, with absolutely nothing else to offer, leaving Faith feeling like she's raising two children on her own. After countless of Faith's assets were repossessed as a means to get her husband, Nzuzonjilo, to pay for his fraudulent crimes, Faith realized that the what's yours is mine and what's mine is yours life is not for her. Dropped her broke husband's surname and went back to the streets to make easy, dirty money. Allegedly! The miserable single lady 
Feminazi and misogyny gang is currently over the moon as its members feel vindicated. Those who have accepted defeat and are aware that they are undesirable and will never get chosen are chuffed at the thought of the Faith Nketi ending up just like them. Similarly, those who harbor resentment towards young, aesthetically appealing women who got to turn up, travel the world, date and vet, and were still chosen, got married and became mothers. In that order, are rejoicing at fate's downfall because they struggle to grasp how one can have it all. Furthermore, the damaged boys who call loving men who treat women with respect and make honest women out of them simps are throwing a party in hell as they've been praying for this marriage to disintegrate as a means to humble women who think they can live their best lives and still get to be wives and mothers of children who grow up in healthy and happy two-parent homed environments. Because let's be honest, the goal has always been to scare women into quote-unquote behaving, which entails worshipping men, tolerating disrespect and disregard, dimming their own light, speaking, questioning, and challenging men less, refraining from opposing systems that oppress women, being obedient at the expense of their own self-worth, and prioritizing everybody else's satisfaction and never their own. Women who refuse to conform to these standards and expectations are deemed as hoes who are told that they'll die alone or with a couple of pussies licking their pussies. I, for one, do not believe these rumors. In fact, I believe a jealous, snaky snake in Faith's camp is spreading them. If they are true, get it do to go faithy. No sane person with a pure heart rejoices at the failure of a godly union such as marriage. Only Omonase Nabatagati do that. If the rumors are true, I hope Faithy left for all the right reasons and not simply because she wants to roam the streets because there's absolutely nothing there. And that's exactly why so many people who are stuck in the streets are so angry. Those who walk away from situations that deprive them of their peace are the real winners and best believe that true love always locates them.